Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Paul. So this week, uh, again, chance to do some charcoal and land, uh, soft pastel landscape painting. And as usual, I'm going to talk about something that's not really related to this specific drawing or painting. Um, but it's all art. It's all connected in some way. So this week I want to talk, especially people who are kind of getting started with art um, or maybe getting back into art after some time. It is very easy to sort of kind of fall into a trap when you're in that situation. The trap is to get caught up in all the details and all of the many, many choices that you have in art. And art can be a very technical thing. And it, as I say, it can have many, many choices. Um, do I use this medium or that one or that one over there? Or there's so many different ones to choose from. What about paper and canvas and brushes? And, and then there's all the different things about um, style and, you know, should I be doing this or that? And what, what genre or what subject matter do I want to focus on? So many choices. And as I say, it is very easy to end up running around in circles, not sure how to make choices. It's difficult to tell people exactly how they should cope with that or what they should do. But one thing I would, one possible piece of advice I would give people is, remember, although art has many, many choices, it's not it doesn't have one correct choice. There's no such thing in art. Um, I'll give you an example, uh, maybe a slightly abstract example, but an example. So very often in these videos, I start the video by saying, you know, hi, my name is Paul, blah, blah, blah. This week I had a chance to do some charcoal and soft pastel landscape painting. But then there's a part of my brain saying, well, no, it's drawing, it's not painting. And then another part saying, well, no, it's painting, it's not drawing. So I'm not sure. What's it, what is it? Is it drawing or painting? What's the difference? So this week I did actually go to Google and I typed in, what's the difference between drawing and painting? And as usual with Google, you get back millions of results. But if you just scroll through the first page or so of results, it quickly becomes obvious that there isn't a single definition or a single difference that people point to and say that is drawing that is painting there are many different ideas about what is drawing and what is painting some ideas are better than others but there is this diversity of opinion and that's the thing about art that's the point i want to make is art is not some sort of monolithic thing um, where there is a correct way of doing things, a correct choice to make. There isn't. Um, there's just lots of diverse opinions. Some people say you should do this or you should do that. But ultimately, there is no correct choice. It's just lots of choices. So what medium you should use, what brand, what paper, what colors. These are all just things that you're going to have to figure out for yourself. I could tell you for example, with watercolor paint, uh, you should use Sennelier watercolor paint. That's what I use. But then you might go off and buy some Sennelier watercolor paint and think, well, this is terrible. I hate using this paint. And there are a lot of people who do not like Sennelier watercolor paint. But then another person might tell you to go off and use Schmincke watercolor paint or somebody else's. <laughs> the thing is, you might try it. You may like it. You may not. It may not be right for you. So th this is why I try and avoid saying precisely what colors I'm using or what materials I'm using, because I don't want people to run off and, and buy those materials because they think that's what I told them to do, um, or it's because of what I use. I think, I say, I don't think art works like, works like that. Something that works for me may not work for you and vice versa. Anyway, that I think is the, the 
point I was trying to make this week is, you know, when you're getting started, getting back into art, yes, you have to make some choices about materials and things, but ultimately that's maybe less important than the main thing that you have to focus on, which is just actually making art. Because no matter what medium that you choose, um, you know, when you first use it, chances are, unless you're some sort of artistic genius, the first results you get are not going to be great. Um, you're probably not going to be happy with them because it takes time to learn to use a medium. It's not that you're using the wrong medium necessarily, it's just it's going to take time to get used to it. So don't worry too much about you know, what colour should I use or what paper or all of those sort of questions. Try to focus as much as you can on the actual creative side of art, on making art. Spend your time not worrying about all the details, but rather focus on how can I make art? What can I do? Try to be creative. Okay, well, I hope that makes some sort of sense. Um, if you made it this far in the video, uh, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and hopefully see you uh, in next week's video.